Good morning, good morning, middle high. Would you please stand for the morning ceremony? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is Tuesday, May 25th. It is a B day. For lunch today, we will have French toast sticks. Don't forget to pre-order your lunch. Attention all 8th through 11th grade students. This week, you will have the opportunity to vote for next year's student council officers. Several students have put their names on a ba ballot to make a positive impact on what goes on at Livonia High School for the 2021-2022 school year. You have been sent a link for Mrs. Dean Pierre to vote. The candidates are for President Alyssa Healy, Molly Flanagan, and Grace Denny. For Vice President Ann Zudak and Emma Hawkins. For Treasurer Lucas Stewart. The Corresponding Secretary Catherine Rother, Daisy Sheldon, and Chris Coyle. And for re Recording Secretary Chaz Dorflinger and Danny Walters. Your vote matters. The polls will close at 3 p.m. on Wednesday, Wednesday May 26. Attention everyone interested in joining the modified JV or varsity cheerleading team. This fall there will be an informational meeting this Wednesday at 2.30 in the high school library. Cheerleading this year will be very exciting as we move towards competition cheer and game day cheer. Come and hear about a great way to support Livonia as a cheerleader and or compete as a Livonia competition athlete. Cheerleading has something for everyone. Come and see if it's a good fit for you. Wednesday, 2.30 in the high school library. Congratulations to the following sixth grade students for being recognized in the Genesee Valley Boces Literary Contest. The honorable mentions were Maeve Seeley, Gwen Strom, and Rome Trivia, and Leah Whittle. Third place was Lily Sharp. Second place was Adeline Palmieri. And first place was Rebecca Hendrick. Amazing job to everyone who submitted narratives to the contest. Go Bulldogs! The varsity tennis team clinched its league title yesterday with a very exciting 5-0 win over Hohenau. The team improved to 7-0 and will battle three times next week. The team was led by Nate the Snake Woolston, who won a set in a 7-2 tiebreaker, while a, the dynamic freshman squad of Mary the K-Chain Quack and da, or Gavin Woolston won a thrilling 10-8 tiebreaker, coming back from being down 5-2. The Livonia boys track team defeated Geneseo on Friday afternoon by a score of 80-52. Leading the way for the Bulldogs was Brady Bishop, who won the 100-800 long jump and high jump. Owen Hensler was victorious in both the 1600 and 3200, while Adam Mayhart, Nico Williams, and Matt Connor, who won the 400, 110 hurdles and 400 hurdles respectively. Running out the victors for Livonia were Christian Tewksbury in the triple jump, as well as the 4-8 and 4-4 relays. Other individual event scorers for the Bulldogs include Matthew Mulvaney, Adam DeLegrand, Matthew Charlevoix, Anthony Lippert, Brendan Mayo, and Seth Norman. Livonia is now a 3-1 on the season. For the girls, Livonia defeated Geneseo by a score of 77-59. Both Angela Tewksbury in the long jump and triple jump and Malika Tunamiki in Shapwa and Discus who won two events. Other individual event winners were Liz Fitzgerald, in the 100, Bella Vinci in the 100 hurdles, and Olivia Kravitz in the 3,000. The 4 to 1, 4 to 4, and 4 to 8 realize also took first place. Madison Gerber, Alyssa Healy, Blair Rollman, and Marissa Wilson all scored multiple individual events for Livonia. With the win, Livonia improves to 1 to 3 on the season. That's, That's all for the morning announcements. Everyone have a great day. day.